guys, it's Jonah here. Welcome back to the Spring Smash Off 2014. Gonna smash it up. Smash it up. And today we're going slightly across the border into Wales. Although, is he really Welsh? I don't know. <laughs> it's Dave the Welsh brewer and he's got this bad boy uh, with a nice, nice young lady on there. Fine Philly Lake, isn't it? Um, and it's called Agnes, would you smash her in? 7.1% uh, and Agnes, is Agnes a type of hop? I'm not sure. I got ripped by uh, Darren because Newport is actually a type of hop. The second beer in. I'm not sure what hop this is because he hasn't really told us any other details apart from it is 7.1%. Now, you've got to beware with the old... Um, stronger brews, especially because these have been lying for a while, that they get a bit carbonated, but on the other side of things, smash brews generally oh fuck, this one is ho 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 this one's, this one's a bad boy is it going to come out the top? hopefully not no, but it is going to be very, very carbonated. Nice one, Dave. I was worried. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Look at that. <laughs> Better get it in a glass, eh? I was going to say, smash beers never get really carbonated. But, of course, Dave's one has done. Um, and as many people have asked me, I'm not putting these in the fridge at all. Because um, I always find if you put them in the fridge, you, uh, you get haze especially with kind of smash beers, I'm not sure why. Oh, Dave, Dave, Dave. Dude, we have huge floaters in there, massive amounts of floatage, um, probably due to the excessive carbonation. Look at that, the head's not that bad though, but if you look at the beer itself, my goodness. Well, this is a review, so I'm going to keep going. Usually I'd cut it and then come back after 10 minutes, but that would be unfair to the other beers. This is a competition after all. So, yeah, unfortunately, Dave, you're going to lose some marks because it's got, I've got a huge amount of floaters in there and it's not that clear, to be honest. Nice head, though. Quite a good head. Quite a good carbonation. Ooh very fruity and quite yeasty but that's obviously due to the fact that the, 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 the carbonation has stirred up everything as I say I'm only getting a sort of rich fruity aroma um, like red berries and sort of dark things smells a bit like sloes like a slow gin, something along those lines. So, I'm not really sure what kind of hops you put in here. Anyway, cheers guys. I'm gonna get a mouthful of yeast, but onward. Oh, very well carbonated. And that sort of, hmm, interesting. That sort of red, rich fruit taste um, is, is there, the same one that was in the aroma. But I'm also getting a nice, silky, smooth, kind of lagery taste. What kind of malts? I'd be very interested to see if this has some kind of German uh, malt, some Vienna malt or a lagery malt, something along those lines. Or maybe it's from the yeast. Maybe that that is a kind of. It's not very estery though, so it's not like um, a sapphire or something. And I have to say, for a seven point one percent beer, and that point one makes the difference. Um, the alcohol is very, very well hidden in this brew. So Dave, you, I think you've done well. You confused me a bit with the, the weird flavours and aromas. Do the hops and 
malts mix nicely. It's interesting because not knowing what they are, it's fierce carbonation, fierce. Um, hard to say. I'd say they're quite separate. You've got that rich fruitiness, which I'm assuming is from the hop, and then you've got that very smooth, kind of almost like oaty, or sort of, you know, something along those lines. Very smooth kind of taste. And that, I think, is coming from the malts. So, have they mixed together? Not, not really, I'd have to say. Um, and it's a real shame that it's been ri ridiculously primed, like m crazily so. I, I assume that maybe this hadn't quite finished fermenting um, and uh, it's done a, a quite a rapid secondary ferment in the bottle. But look, we've still got head man, the head's chasing us down and we've still got carbonation. So Dave, not all lost man. However, I don't think we're going to be troubling the, uh, you know, the, the the guys out front with this beer. But still, cheers, Dave. Very, very well done for getting a beer in for this one, and um, I very much enjoy some of your other brews. Cheers and beers.